Here's pie in your eye. Well, something to do with an eye, something to do with a pie. We'll figure Actually, it out. Yeah, that worked out. You know, <laughs> I thought you were being a lot more clever than that. No, don't, <laughs> don't give me too much credit. Maybe if you I've feed seen the so much death. <laughs> feed the pie to the tree; it'll grow sentient. Hmm. So we've got Cruncher Lady. We've got the pie. Who needs a pie? That big fat knight, maybe. Yeah, that's that's worth a shot. Let's see if anyone's hungry. I big hungry knight type. I think I'm going the wrong way. But we'll figure it out. It'd be kind of funny if he lifted that thing up, the door opened the opposite way. Yeah, like it was. Uh, oh, those always infuriate me when you get a, a push sign on a pull door. And they're just too lazy to, to take it down. But I'm too lazy to think anything otherwise. Well, I'm not lazy. I do both. I, I have a great ability to push pull doors. You say that now, but I've seen you in real life. Ugh. Well? This totally isn't where we met up with the knights, I don't think. No. So, back the other way. We might sound a little out of place because we've... We've taken a little bit of a break from it. We uh, haven't touched this. So we're we're trying to re recollect our our memories as much as possible. Those are the kitty bushes. Ouch, kitty! Bad kitty. Boy, kitty, kitty. boy, that's going back. Oh, kitty, you're a bad kitty. Ah, oh, that was it's, it's kind of tough and cringy at almost at times. Yeah, it is. I don't Comedy like. Comedy Central is is running through South Park chronologically again. So. Oh, I hate old South Park. Yeah, it's tough to get it's, through. It's worse than old Simpsons usually. Hey, pumpkin! Oh wait, we've already did this before. Did, oh yeah. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that oh yeah. Pumpkin was housing too many squirrels. No, actually, they took my pie. Wait, wait. Okay. Use the pie with a pumpkin. They'll eat the... the pie. What's this? What is that? I don't know. A... a fruit picker. Well, I guess that would have been handy earlier. Made for picking plums. Hey, a giant boot! No, that's, that's the horn thing again. <laughs> a giant boot! Giant Santa Claus boot. Saxophone. These frogs must have something to do with it. Wherever you are hiding, hideous beasts. I tried again, but it was no use. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm gonna <coughs> use the fruit picker and get me a a frog. Nope. Nope. That fool. You damn fool! I'm gonna catch him as he's coming by. I'm waiting for you. Click the button! Oh! <laughs> I don't think you're meant to catch him. <sighs> okay, I think I know where I need to go to find the knights. That pumpkin patch, I was supposed to take a right after uh, when I go past the it. Left toy at the pumpkin patch. You're heading back into town? No, there's a, a right turn here, I think. What is that? Off What's in the distance. Going there? Dogs. Okay. Oh, go there. Get out! Shoo! Get off that hay bale! Out of those flowers! Put that sack lunch down! Do you think that's a real big sack lunch or no they're just really tiny you. people? You know why. Hard to say. What did what was my, what did I do? Why's she giving me those looks? She's giving you the stink eye. No, but what did she say? I was too busy making a Seinfeld reference. <laughs> yeah. Do you want How a pie? about a pie? 
A Wenty special, I presume. <laughs> no thanks. I'm cutting down on my gluten. Oh, you're one of those assholes. Come on, Decker. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the Okay, order. yeah, that was a thing. Well, how do you know that machine's a female? Have you checked? Back away from the Crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. Man, I think I only got none coins. Alright, let's get back to the knights. Those dogs distract me. I, I didn't know what they just said there either. So. Please be where the knights are. This looks familiar. Yep. I think, uh... What's this? I don't remember this. I The announcement board was covered until round two of the tournament. Ah. Uh -huh. Let's try this one. I just did a loop. Oh yeah, I remember this thing. And I found something down here. Or did I? That's where, oh. you, that's where you found the pie. Fantastical floating island, only steps away. It's so floaty. See, yeah, it's it's You'll the it's the trouble with not playing a game for a while. Yep, go up. And I, I think almost there. World's greatest and only floating island. Okay. Don't turn right. No floating islands that way. Okay. Oh yeah, I already did this. Well, okay, so the floating island is over here. The sign tell true. Kids, don't stop screaming until Dad pulls over the wagon. That looked like a... Ooh, this is new. You know what else is new? This. Sex of a phone. Uh. Hmm. This was on my bucket list. A failed attraction, eh? Alright. There's Go. another way on the right over there to get, get to this, so. I just want to find those knights. Go back. Uh, I'm trying every possible route. I just mentally can't remember where they are. Up. As I said, up. There he is. Ugh, I'm gonna wipe that stupid feather off his face. Let's get the fruit picker. How do you when use I'm a knight, things are going to be very different. I keep I, I forget even how to use things. I'd assume that Hmm. Oh yeah, this is with this was a thing. <laughs> Okay, can I use anything with anything? Oh, he's looking all sad down at it. Nope. Alright, this is this is getting kind of frustrating. We might have to... Or not frustrating, it's just... I don't remember anything. And it's just taking five minutes to refresh this. down. Maybe check out that statue. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man. 
and he left me with a diamond tree to grow into a kingdom it is today. I hate how they keep referring to it as a Davin tree. As if it's <laughs> as if it's like there's multiple. Hey, of them. this is new. Is it? Yeah, I've never seen this before. Surely there is a hungry oh, man here. Before. Shame. And these could have been carved into really nice jack o' lanterns. I think we've seen this. Oh yeah, I've seen I've heard that bit of dialogue. Hmm. There's a hideous beast lurking inside. Steak! Ew, gross. Ah, all right. <coughs> We've got some sort of a squirrel? Raccoon or something? Otter? Seeing um, all these new recruits makes me miss the old days. Ahem. Are you paying attention? What? No, I was reminiscing. Okay, Sorry. here's the... Here's what I think. That raccoon loves meat. So you go back to that town where those two dogs are fighting... And it's gonna duke it out? It's gonna duke it out somehow? Have my mm. pie. We could feed all the guards with that and be the bestest of friends. And never ever have to hunt down any hideous beasts. Sorry, pockets, but traditions are traditions. A pie is no eye. Oh. But come on! It's a really nice pie. Just hit him with this line. You guys used to be cool, you know? <laughs> what? I still am cool. I'll let you in. A line that's never worked ever. It always works for me. Usually that's the that's the last desperate <coughs> line when you're trying to trying to guilt somebody into something. You're the last desperate line. More of these horns. Okay, this is new. And we're dead. <laughs> Oof. A common troll! You like a pie? You want a pie? Are you hungry? Hasn't anyone told you it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs? Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now! I got one. I have a s- Well... I've got a squirrel! Hey, go. I can return to you with bundles of royal food! You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. Uh, you're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, I am quite sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would say. <laughs> Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, where do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Um, ask about those instruments. What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head the of guild the guild. The guild of trolls? Ulfie was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. Shh. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to know where I can find an eye of a beast, would you? Is it time for the tournament already? I thought that was on Tuesday. Oh, bother. My memory's failing again. Alfie's been suffering from sleep deprivation. A very rude <coughs> monster has been snarling in the bushes behind my back. Is this monster you speak <coughs> of hideous, perchance? Snarling Snarlax is legendarily hideous. Those puny guards of Daventry would surely be impressed by his eye. It is rumored the beast has two purple eyes with bright blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. I could let you cross and perhaps even help you with that fire-eyed monster, but since Ulfie didn't eat you, Ulfie needs a pick-me-up. This big tooth is a sweet one. If you bring me something to eat, I'll consider helping Perfect. you. Perfect. 
Well. Uh, Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little just I want to make sure this. Further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. For too long have we, the bridges, have been stomped on by sharp-pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not. As Pilar says. For shame, Daffentry! <laughs> We're not going back to work until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting. Perofi always shows up fashionably late. <laughs> right when the croissants are served. Nice. Uh, Listen, yeah. jerk. Waddle back briskly go when I tell you to come, start. you better come. Well, I was saving this for later. What? Talk to him. Oh. Oh, he loves it. How do you know it's a he? Ulfi sounds like a male name. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfi was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, let us extract that snarling Snarlax eye. He just grabs it and squeezes it like a toothpaste tube. Oh, that was easy. Heck. It's all yours now. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh. Uh, fret not, Goosey. It is the two-eyed snarling Snarlax after all. London Bridges! Elbow drop, much. I, uh. Mm, Ophi has a new plan. First you kill him and stand you stand take both. Then you'll. Then I'll. But first, you'll need this. Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. Okay. All right, so he gave the the mouthpiece now. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. But, but proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, night hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still. Oh, he got one. <laughs> Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. Um, okay. Let's. Saxophone. Kill them all. Is this hideous enough for you? Um, yes, this is. <laughs> uh, I don't think any addendums cover this. Congratulations, Graham! Welcome <laughs> to the tournament! Nice. That troll is pretty ugly. Yeah, ugly in a sort of pretty way. That's not exactly what I meant. You know, like your cousin Hilda. <laughs> <laughs> Take that and that! Oh, Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? No, I'm surprised you're losing. I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. It was called 50 Shades of Grey. What? You're just too adorable to fight, Mr. Springbottom. Let's dance instead. Twirling and best <laughs> friends, then <laughs> twirling. <laughs> Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. 
Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. And just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. <laughs> you will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theater for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament ball. I will remain here for any questions. Okay, and round good luck two. To you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Has anyone seen that archer knight around? He probably headed home. He mentioned how hard it was for him to be away from his family. Whisper saw him headed towards the dark, scary well. Well, proclamation 4637371346737877 oh states that any knight who voluntarily leaves a competition needs to sign the release form on the back of his portrait. We've had problems in the past. Do I have any volunteers to track down his signature? Yes, Whisper Please. can do it. Wonderful. Thank you, Pockets. Here's his portrait. If you could get him to sign it, that would be great. And talk to me if you have any further questions. Let the duels commence! All right. That's the ticket. Well, we know where the floating island is. What we don't know is... What are we going to do... With the 24-inch pythons... And all the little Hulkamaniacs gonna come for our ass. Well, we better learn to pump some iron. 